Hi YouTubers, it's George, I'm in the garage and um, I'm sorting out some aerials for myself and um, I've sorted out all my HF aerials now and loading coils, I'm quite happy with how that's going but I bought myself a diamond antenna, an X50 which is a dual band for the 2 metre band and the 7 centimeter, 70 centimeter band, or in other words, the UHF band. And um, what what I'm doing with it is, I've been converting it for portable operation, and rather than have it mounted permanently on a wall, because you know I tend to operate um, portable than from home. <coughs> do the due to restrictions on aerials and things like that and um, normally this would be mounted it's a sorry if you've never seen one of these before it's a glass fiber rod with um, three um, counterpoises which thread in one goes like that and then the others like that and it's pre-tuned you, you can't um, adjust the tuning of it and these brackets go around here so you can mount it on a pole well that's not a lot of good for me because I want to be able to make it portable so um, and this section comes off with these two bolts and inside here is a PL259 so <coughs> the first thing I've done is I've drilled a hole in the side here put a rubber grommet in I've faded some of the RG58 copper inside and put a plug on it but inside here as well there's some ferrite rings three small ferrite rings which have gone round the cable like this inside here and taped and that's to help reduce any back EMF coming down the screen of the cable I've done that now because of my portable work I tend to use these very low cost lighting tripods <coughs> excuse me and on the top of the tripod I've put an, an adapter I made with a thread which is roughly M10 I think it is on the top so what I've done I've modified the X50 so that it's got a threaded insert now in the bottom I don't know if you can see that All right. so what I've done this is a curtain pole and by coincidence it's the exact diameter of the inside of this tube here so I've cut a, a section off you can see how, how close match it is and this is a wooden curtain pole I've cut a section off knocked it into the tube it's a tight fit but it goes in alright I've put a couple of wood screws into it to grip the wood and I've drilled the wood with a wood drill and I've inserted one of these inline couplers normally used on brake pipe fittings in there so that goes inside the wood drill the end feed it in and put it inside and then all that assembly is fitted this is actually glued into the wood you can see there's like a collar there so what I've done, I've run glue in there and knocked it in. It is a tight fit into the wood, in, in there. So I've done that, and I've done that on a previous aerial, similar technique. And then what happens is, this tripod will thread into that. And I'll just put it in there. 
and uh, you can see what it's like okay so that's it threaded in and then you know you get quite a height with these uh, tripods i'll see if i can um extend it so on the floor so you can see roughly what it looks like so that's the base of the tripod it's not fully ex extended the legs and it's two sections and then we come to the aerial here and I'm not threaded in fully and then because you get the counterpoises coming away from here and that's it I can't put it up outside because it's blowing a hooli out there I have tried to set it up in the garden but it's just too windy um, I haven't got anything to weight the bottom down and um, but I, I shall make some guy ropes for it to hold it up but it's for portable operation now the other thing is <coughs> I can actually attach it to my car or the motorhome or the camper van if you want to call it with my bracket here I made and that goes on the bike rack <coughs> and that does you can see the clamps that goes on the bike rack and it's got the threaded bit in there so the aerial can thread on there as well so I can actually attach it to the bike rack on my camper van for portable operation although I'm not going to do that but I can do it if I want to so thanks for watching this video and um, it's a bit crude but it all works extremely well